Have you seen the magician's tablecloth trick where they pull the tablecloth out from under the dishes? Is it magic or science? Let's see. I have something set up similar here with a pizza pan instead of the tablecloth. So what's going to happen to the pizza pan when I hit it with this broom? And what's going to happen to the eggs once I hit the pizza pan? Are you ready? One, two, yes. So the eggs dropped straight down into the water, didn't they? It's not magic, it's science. It's all about inertia and forces. So let's take a closer look. So I put water in each of the beakers. Did that on purpose, because water has mass, which means it has inertia. In fact, the more water, the more mass, the more inertia the greater their tendency to stay at rest. Then, did the pizza pan and the pill jars, which supported the eggs. The egg also has mass, so it also has inertia. Let's think about the forces now. So right now, the egg is stationary because you have balanced forces. You have the force of gravity pulling it down, but you have the support force of the pill jar and everything underneath it, balancing that out. When I apply the horizontal force from the broom, the pan moves horizontally, but the force is not enough to overcome the egg's inertia, so it stays at rest. And once everything's moved out from under it, then the only thing pulling on it is the force of gravity, and it pulls it straight down into the water. That's science.